Elderly woman is rejected sitting in business class, then pilot's photo falls off her purse. People always attribute sitting in a plane's business class section with wealth, so when an old lady sat there in her tattered clothes and flip-flops one night, she stood out like a sore thumb. Rhea didn't come from a well-off family and she had to work day and night to make ends meet. However, she would always save up a portion of her salary for a plane ticket that she said she would one day use for herself. True enough, the day finally came. She booked a business class ticket to Orlando and more than the destination, it was the flight that she looked forward to the most. As she entered the airplane, nobody bothered to look at her. However, as she sat on the business class seat that she purchased, that was when people started to look. While all the other men and women in business class section of the plane wore suits and designer dresses, Rhea was in a plain white top with a small runs on them and a pair of jeans. While everyone wore their best shoes, she was in a pair of flip-flops. Why don't you go to your real seat, lady? The person beside her said as he folded the newspaper he was reading. He called for the flight attendant and said, Don't you check tickets over here? The flight attendant looked at Rhea apologetically before asking for her boarding pass. She then faced the man and said Rhea was in the correct seat she paid for. Not satisfied, the man looked at Rhea from head to toe. He brought out a mask from his bag and wore it over his face. I bought a business class ticket so I didn't have to deal with people like her. Now it seems as if you allow peasants in this section too. I'm never flying your airline again, the man said. At this point, everybody in the business class section had their eyes on the man. A woman decked in bright colored jewelry stood up from her seat to get a clear view of Rhea. I guess this airline has downgraded so much that they let the business class seats go to just anybody, she exclaimed. Rhea's face was turning red and she was trying her best not to cry. Her fellow passengers didn't stop ridiculing her and it was clear they wanted her to go. As she closed her eyes to tell herself that it was just a temporary feeling, she decided she's had enough. Well then, I'll just leave, she said with tears streaming down her face. As she stood up, she stumbled on the ground with her belongings falling to the aisle. Instead of helping her, the cruel man who first spoke ill about her flinched away. It was then that a woman started to help her out and she too got down on her knees to help Rhea. The woman's actions silenced people in the cabin. She apologized for the way the other people treated Rhea and the first thing she picked up was a crumpled photo of a little boy. Thank you, ma'am, Rhea said as she got the photo from her. This is my son, he's the pilot flying this plane, Rhea said smiling. Well, by the looks of it, he must have become a handsome young man, the wealthy old woman said as she got up. I wouldn't know. I had to give him up for adoption when he was five because I couldn't take care of him properly, she said, her voice cracking as she was in tears. At this point, the whole plane was quiet. A flight attendant approached Rhea and decided to listen to her story. I've been looking for my boy for years but with no luck. Recently, I saw an ad for your airline in the newspaper and I just knew it was him. I asked around and I found out he was flying this flight. I bought a business class ticket because I knew this was the closest I'd ever get to him, she explained. Well, ma'am, today's the day you'll finally meet your son, I promise you that, the flight attendant replied. Before responding, Rhea decided to address the business class cabin. I'm sorry for making you all feel uncomfortable. I just wanted to be as close to my son as I could. I saved up my money for this chance. Yes, I'm not rich like you, but I'm sure you could relate to me when I say I'd do anything for my child, she said. At this point, those who spoke badly about her couldn't look her in the eye. Sniffles could be heard from around the cabin as her story touched many. Rhea left the cabin with a flight attendant and entered the cockpit. After some minutes of silence, the pilot decided to address the whole plane. Good morning, everyone. This is Captain James Holderbrand speaking. Thank you for flying with us today. I'd just like to mention there's a special person on this plane today, my mom, and it's her birthday. When the plane landed in Orlando, James walked straight up to his mother and escorted her out of the plane himself. After years of not being together, Rhea and James shared a warm embrace once again and finally rebuilt their relationship. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.